Imagine getting kicked in the face by a size 13, just like, ah. <laughs> What's up guys, Austin Robinson here. Some of you may know me as Space Case. In today's video, I was given two pairs of Vans shoes. I think we have some Era Pros or Classics, I don't remember which one, and some slip-ons. So the client has requested that we do pink, blue, and purple tie-dye. So today I'm gonna walk you through the process of tie-dyeing shoes and just my process of how I like to do it. In no way, shape, or form is this the definite way to tie-dye shoes. There's plenty of techniques out there. This is just personally what I like to do. So nothing is getting done sitting here at this desk. We're gonna pack up all the shoes, the camera, everything, head outside. Pretty nice day out actually. It's a little cloudy, but we can deal with that. Perfect tie-dye weather. So I'll see you guys out there. Dude, a size 13 shoe is massive. This is insane. All right, guys, so before we even get into dyeing these shoes, we've got some prep work to do. When you're dyeing white shoes, you don't wanna get the soles all messy, so you get some tape. I'm personally using this green electrical tape, but what we're gonna do is go along the sole and wrap the entire sole up with green tape, and that's gonna prevent any dye from staining the sole. So we'll be able to have completely dyed shoes, but a nice, clean, white sole. So I'm gonna go through, tape all of these up, and then after that we got one more little prep thing to do before we set up the shoes to die. Uh, yeah. So when you're taping the shoes up, make sure you take your time. Like don't rush into it because you wanna make sure that they're completely covered. That way you don't just have that like random streak of color on your sole. You want them to look good, you want them to look professional. So take your time, you know? Hey, slow and steady wins the race. All right, so we went slowly around this upper rim of the shoe. So now that we've done that, we can just kind of go in and slap some tape around the bottom. You don't have to be as precise with that because it's more the top of the shoe that's gonna stain and bleed. So we'll just throw some around the bottom real quick, get the rest of these taped up, and then we'll get into dyeing. Ooh, the sun's actually coming out, that's nice. It's a cloudy day here. The universe sensed, I need that sunny day. All right, so we got our shoes all taped up. Before we dye them, I'm gonna go in and take the laces out because I want them to be nice and white. And we're gonna take the insoles out of the shoes because I don't want them to get all stained up. And I think we're gonna try and paint these insoles actually while the shoes dry. If you are using band shoes to dye, they might have glued the insole to the bottom. Don't worry about ruining the insole if you take it out. It's not gonna do anything bad to the shoe. You just have to put a little extra muscle into it and you'll be fine. All right, laces are out, insoles are out. We've got our three dye colors here that the client wanted. They wanted to do pink, purple, and blue. So for the best color flow on these shoes, we are going to do blue in the back, purple in the middle, and then pink on the end because blue would flow into purple, purple flows into pink, all the colors flow. Ew, why'd I say that? We're gonna start in the back with the blue. So what I'm gonna do is take my blue dye, get a paper towel. That way, once I have some dye on there, I can kind of rub it in and blend it out. So these paper towels, when you're doing these, are gonna be your best friend if you want like a nice blended looking tie-dye shoe. So here we go. You can kind of see already that it's like, it blends more and starts to like slowly go into that. So when it goes into this purple, we'll blend those two colors together and it's gonna look really cool. You can choose to dye with these shoes wet, but I personally don't. I like to go dry and then just use the paper towel to kind of rub all the colors in. So we're just going through and adding dye all along this back here. And you can see that it's starting to like drip down that tape. So if we didn't have this all taped off, that sole would already be super stained. Alrighty, so we got all the blue down. Now we're gonna go in with this paper towel, kind of blend it out. Make sure it's all nice and even. You don't want like weird splotchy areas where it's like super blue and then other areas are like not so blue. The only areas you want not so blue are where it's about to turn into that purple color. Get this all evened out and boom, we have the back of some dyed blue shoes. 
So next up, we will move into this purple color. I think we're gonna do the whole lace area and tongue of the shoe purple. So we're gonna kind of push this down so it seeps in to the tongue. What's cool about Vans is these little shoelace rings don't stain. Kind of put some near that blue, and then we'll go back in with a paper towel and blend that. Move these to this side, get some dye down. All right, now we will take another paper towel because we've got a little puddle here. Go up to this purple and blue area and try to blend them together. Maybe add a little more blue and some purple. Mix them together, a little more purple. All right, so we've got some color blending going on. Go to this side. This side's already actually looking really good, so we don't even need to bother there. As you can see, that one naturally blended. Go in, get the rest of this tongue dyed. Oh no, my paper towels are blowing away. Rest in peace to the towels. All right, so last up, we got this pink color. We're gonna do the same thing, blend it into the purple. So the pink, definitely wanna make sure that it's angled up. That way all that excess dye is just headed towards the front, not the colors you've already placed down. All right, let me grab that paper towel that blew away. Blend it out. So far, we've got the blue, the purple, the pink. They're nice and blended. Give you a little view of the whole shoe. So I'm gonna go in, dye the rest of these shoes, make sure that they're all pretty consistent. That way when they're standing next to each other, they look even. They don't look like somebody just kinda like threw some crap on there. You want them to look good when they're next to each other. You want like a good final product. So I will meet up with you guys once these are all dyed, and then we will discuss how long you should let them sit before you wash them, and we'll go through the whole washing process. Alright, shoes are all dyed up, so we are going to put them both in plastic bags, get all the air out of them, and then we're going to let them sit for about 8 hours. It is 11 right now, so we're going to check back at 7, we're going to rinse the shoes out, and I'm going to show you how I personally wash tie-dye shoes. Some people throw them in the wash and dryer, I don't do that, I don't like the noise, I don't like all that clanging around, it's a nuisance. While we're waiting for these to dry, we're going to take these insoles inside and the client wanted some certain things on the shoes, but I'm gonna do it on the insole, see how they like it, and then maybe go back in and do some painting on the shoes. I know they want the number 23 and the number five on each of the shoes. So one insole is gonna be 23, one's gonna be five. They want some peace signs, maybe some sign lyrics on there. So we're gonna go in, do like a cool tie-dye spiral painting on the insoles. Once we get the insoles done, we'll come back, we'll rinse these shoes out, and we'll have a final look at the finished product. I'm already pretty happy with them. I'm just hoping that there's no staining on the soles. Mm. We got both insoles painted, so now we're gonna go in and add a little peace sign right here and a five and a 23 on each shoe because that's what the client asked for. So that's what we're gonna deliver. All right, insoles are done. Went through, we did similar tie-dye pattern to the shoes except did my little spiral, got the peace sign, got the numbers. So conveniently, through the power of YouTube magic, it's been about eight hours. So we're gonna go grab those shoes, we're gonna rinse them out with hot water, and then, and then, I'm gonna show you an ancient, ancient drying technique passed down generation to generation. The blow dryer fan tag team. Let's go grab these shoes. We got our shoes all rinsed out. We got them set up on this towel and there's a fan blowing on it. 
There's not really much technique here. I just don't like putting the shoes in the dryer. They're way too loud. Realistically, you can do it. It's just not my thing. I don't prefer. So we're letting them dry like this. And then in the morning, we will go through, we'll do one of those like cool untaping things. You know, they're always visually pleasing. And then that'll be the end of the video. You'll get to see some custom tie-dye vans. So I'll see y'all in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. You guys out of your damn minds. Of course I'm gonna show you the blow dryer technique. Get a blow dryer, put it on high, put it on hot, blow dry it. It'll be done in like five, 10 minutes, waiting overnight. I don't have time for that. We got money to make. Wait until tomorrow. You guys really believe me. Ridiculous. How gullible are you? Our shoes are dry. We got our regular Vans Classics and Vans Slip-Ons. As you can see, they're both pretty consistent with the colors. We got the pink, fades into the purple, purple fades into the blue, exactly the way we wanted. So I'm gonna throw the insoles back in these and get them laced up. And then we are gonna go through for the end, peel off all this tape and hope that there's no stains. If there is, we're gonna have to go in with a toothbrush and bleach, clean them up. You know, we gotta have those crispy white soles. So fingers crossed. Then when we take this tape off, it'll be clean. Shoes are laced up, insoles are back in, give you a little peek. You can see the little peace sign, the five, peace sign, the 23. I wasn't planning on doing this originally. I was gonna do the peace sign like painted on the shoes themselves. So next up, we're gonna do this untaping. I'm so excited. Here we go. We'll do the slip-ons first. Van sticker stayed on there. Hey, a true professional can do this without ruining the van sticker. <laughs> Excuse me, a true professional can also burp on camera like a scumbag. Untaping. It's looking good so far. That's positive. No stainage. Okay. All right. We're looking good. Ooh. Okay. Looking good. Perfect. Heck yes. Look at how white that is. Perfect. No stains. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes! Hopefully this shoe does just as good. Just as well, sorry. Excitement is no excuse for poor grammar. Alrighty, look at that. Another perfect white sole. See what taping it does? No stains. Our slip-ons look awesome. All white, no stains, bottoms look good. There we go, done. Tie-dye slip-ons, boom, done. Let's move on to these classics. Or are these Air Pros? I don't even know, I'm not cool. This guy calls himself a skater, he doesn't even know what van shoes are. What a poser. Okay, this tape is actually coming off a lot better than the other ones did. White soles, boom. It makes it look so much cleaner, because with the tape on, I was like, man, these look crappy, like, they don't, I don't like them. But the minute that white sole comes out, I'm like, they look so clean and, like, they look great. I'm hyped. We're gonna try and do this one, like, just all at once. Put some muscle into it. Yeah. Muscle. All right, so with that, all of our shoes look good. None of the soles stained. They're dyed, they're blended well. This is the first time I've ever done three color shoes. I've done rainbow shoes before. I'll throw a picture in right about now. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever done three color shoes and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. They look cool. I'd love to do like different color combos in the future like this. That's gonna bring us to the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, you should definitely subscribe. I make a ton of art related videos all the time. All this stuff behind me, I make by hand and I'm making new art videos all the time. Got a lot of stuff planned for the upcoming September, October harvest and spooky season. So you're going to want to stay tuned, check out everything I've got coming. Check me out on Instagram at Space Case Illustration. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter, Space Case Art. If you would like to support this channel, please, please, please go check out my Etsy shop. I've got a ton of original art for sale and honestly, it belongs on your walls. So check out the Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Size 13, that is, is, look at this. This is like two of my head.